In Terre Haute, federal executions will move forward later today. Keith Nelson is scheduled to die by lethal, in lethal injection this afternoon. News 10's Jordan Kudish joins us live this morning from outside the federal prison complex with more on Nelson's story and why he's being put to death. Well, John, this will actually be the second execution just this week, and Nelson will be marked as the fifth prisoner to be executed by the death penalty after a 17 year hiatus. Now, let's go back to the beginning of this case and explain exactly why he's sitting on death row. Now, according to records, 45 year old Keith Dwayne Nelson kidnapped a 10 year old girl. Her name is Pamela Butler. She was rollerblading in front of her home at the time. He reportedly abducted her and threw her in the back of his pickup truck in a forest behind a church and Nelson raped her. Now autopsy results show she was then strangled to death using a wire. In October of 2001, Nelson pled guilty to the crimes. However, he later claimed his sentence was unsound, arguing he was badly advised by his defense attorney. But appeal judges threw out that claim, moving forward with the execution. Now, News 10's Aaliyah Blackburn has been uh, a media witness for this. She will be inside the death chamber as it's happening and provide those details to us. And, of course, we'll bring them back to you as we learn more. But for now, we're putting live in front of the federal prison. I'm Jordan Kudish with News 10.